Alright. So we're back. Um, just to let everybody know, um, I've just been up the doctors and I've had injections. Ugh. I've had three injections. I've had polio, tetanus, and diphtheria injections in my right arm, which is now starting to feel like a bit of a dead weight. So my re uh, my walkthroughs might be a little bit slower than usual because I'm having to compensate for my now like four times as heavy arm, which actually is starting to be rather painful. But I've chosen not uh, to carry on with the walkthrough, obviously. Um, and I've also decided to, unless I'm asked, carry on with the super speeded battles. Unless people ask me to slow them down, then I will. Um, but until then, I'm going to super speed the battles, but keep everything else at normal pace. I mean, my videos are always pausable. I welcome you to do so. In fact, I encourage, I encourage you to do so. Oh yeah, here's a Luxio. Alright, so now is the time uh, for us to go into our bag and uh, pick out that Rock Smash and teach it to uh, Bidoof, who will learn it without complaining because he's a legend. So uh, now that we got that done, you can come here and grab a potion and uh, use Rock Smash right here. And uh, out we go. So uh, that was r relatively easy. Yep, we sure do. Alright. It's Bidu. Uh, level 9. Slightly uh, more powerful Pokemon up this route. Not very much though, but slightly. Um, it's only really... Level 11, you've only really got to worry about status problems with these guys. Anything else is fine. They're not going to do much damage. So, uh, just check how we're doing. Yeah, I've got two levels to go with Luxio. There's an Awaken in there that you can grab. Ugh. Yeah, so, see, the wild Pokemon are up to level 9 now. Uh, you can grab a Starly if you want. Um, if you pick Turtwig like me, um, you are going to end up having a bit of difficulty in the uh, the gym with Gardenia. No, sorry. I, I forget her name in uh, Platinum. But anyway, in, in the gym, the grass type gym, because uh, we picked a grass starter and we have no fire types in the game yet. So, uh, the only thing... I suggest you do is right outside of that um oh sod it right outside of that uh gym is uh, a little patch of grass and inside that grass they're very rare it takes a long time but you can catch uh dust ox and uh beautifly but they are very hard to come by but on the upside they do both know confusion and they both know uh, gust which are two moves that are strong against grass types so they're very recommended um, yeah Pachirisu is a cool Pokemon it's uh, dawns at the choice of electric type uh, I don't know why uh, it doesn't seem too special to me. Um, it's quite a weak electric type. Um, it knows discharge, uh, which I know for a fact. But I've never actually used a Pachiritsu, so I can't really give you anything in detail. Uh, so sorry for that. CDT Pro getting the points. Alright, so yeah. Uh, if you come in here. You can grab yourself a uh, Bullet Seed TM9, 
which is pretty helpful. Bullet seeds are a cool move. And we arrive in Floroma Town. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is heal up. Okay, and then after that, there's actually not much to do in this place. Uh, there's not really anyone to speak to. So you can uh, just run straight through here. And uh, she will stop you. Um, now we get our first test um, to see if our Pokemon are strong enough. If you want to come just here, you can grab yourself a potion. Okay, this is the guy we're interested in. So uh, all we got to do is kick his butt. Not hard. He has a Glam Meow, level 13, so uh, pretty strong. But a spark and a tackle should sort him out. Yep. Okay, so he's even with uh, CDT Pro now. Okay, so our uh, problem being, he now locks himself in there, which is a pain in the back side. Uh, Alright, so uh, now we are running back. Running all the way back. Keep running. Still running. Running further. Until you get to here. And uh, these guys will battle you. Make sure your Pokemon are the right level because they will face you one after another. So unless you're strong enough, it will cause a problem for you. But uh, Stunky, which I really do not like. I'm not a big fan of Stunky at all. But uh, CDT Pro's defense is pretty good. Yeah, I was worried about that. Oh, God. That poison uh, would really take down my health then. So he battles you one after another. Uh, they do, sorry. So I'm poisoned as well, which is not good. However, uh, CDT Pro should be able to handle them. Should be able to. Oh, come on. Oh, he's dead. No. Oh, good save. Good save. Let's get him out of the air. So, uh, that puts CDC Pro up at 18. And, uh, Luxio right off the bat. Oh, yeah. It's grottle time. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like the perfect speed for evolution for me, because sometimes it kind of drags on a bit. Um, you know, once you've played so many Pokemon games, you know how evolution works. So, uh, yeah, we get the honey. This guy will actually sell you honey when you come back. Oh, God, he's going to faint right now. Oh, no, they survive on this, don't they? That's really strange, but I'm not complaining. Okay. So, uh, who's up front? Luxio. All right, so we're still not done with this yet. Um, we've still got a, uh, cause now we've just picked up the key from those guys. So now we can get back in. And uh, straight away, there he is. And uh, he'll leg it, because he's a vagina, to put it politely. I uh, figured as much. We should be faster. Yep. Zubat down. Okay. Uh, I want to do the leader on the next video. So, uh, Glam Meow might might take one spark nope it's all good uh skunks stunky is a little tougher but uh, obviously not tough enough so uh there we have it next we'll be taking on the uh team galactic grunt uh admin i think he is maybe he is a boss anyway so I'll see you guys next time where we get back this guy till then